Fishing the Midwest is presented by Larson FX, the multi-species, multi-use boat that's ready for whatever you are. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Core Ice, expand your seasons. Hi, welcome to Fishing the Midwest. I'm Mike Frisch, this is Jeff Haney. Jeff, you and I went fishing last fall, didn't we? We certainly did on the mighty Mississippi. And we had a pretty good day, didn't we? We did. <laughs> you bet we did. So on today's episode, we'll be on the mighty Mississippi. After that, it's a school of fish segment. But first off, mighty miss and some walleyes. Today we're down on the Mississippi. We're with Josh Stevenson who guides down here and Jeff Haney from Haney's Marine. And I'm out of my element. I'm a small town North Dakota kid coming to the big city, fishing in the metro. So this is a whole new experience for me. But Josh knows where these fish are. It should be a fun day. Oh, it's the best walleye factory of the whole Twin Cities. I mean, St. Croix is a close second, but if you want big walleyes, the Mississippi River is really hard to beat. It is. <laughs> They're really bulldogging down. So we get out there and I mean, it's just a beautiful day for this time of the year. We're just maybe a few days away from freeze up on some of our traditional inland lakes. And so to have this opportunity in November to come down here, I mean, we get out to our first spot, Josh gets on him. Nice walleye, nice. nice. All right. I'm gonna keep us off the rocks. Mr. Barr just kicking all this extra current right at us. I had, a, I had a game plan today and right away I realized we had to shuffle the, my game plan around in my head because it, it was all kinds of barge traffic. You know, the, the tugboats, there's often four or five tugboats at a crack going up and down the channel and everything was stirred up. Good starter, huh? Yeah, we're on the board. We are on the board. Right after that, I was like, we have to move because the whole thing got stirred up. And imagine just water clarity turning into mud instantly because of a big engine. You know, that's one of the things that I've always admired about guys like Josh. River fishermen deal with a lot of stuff. Guys in lakes, like I fish most of the time, we, we don't deal with this kind of stuff. So yesterday I had four or five spots, caught all the fish on them. Everything was going well, including one great big 30-incher, which is the biggest in 10 years down here for me. Today we come, I go, okay, we got the show, here we go. I came and everything was changed. There was barges on every spot that I had picked out to, for today's show. So we, we had to go back to the drawing board and say, how are we gonna work around this whole new environment that man just made with the barges? Well, on a day like today, I wasn't about the traditional spots. We worked around those barges and actually used the barges to our advantage because the barges in high current will stop the current and slow it down. It's like a, a great big wing dam itself. Basically, that was the theme of the day, right under the barge. Let me net. Yeah, I'm coming right under the barge. Yep. Nice walleye. Oh, yeah. Sauger. Yep. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. Underneath the barge. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? You know, I think, Josh, I'm not sure, but I think this is, might be the first time we've ever been on, or I've ever been on a barge pattern. <laughs> yeah, they definitely stopped the current. Yep. So, Josh, tell us a little bit about the difference in just the coloration of a sauger and a walleye. Yeah, saugers are darker and they got a little bit they have more dots. And in here there's a lot of saw guys. So this is a sauger because there's not, the saw guys will have a little bit of a white mm -hmm. tip there. Where and the walleye has a, a big prominent white, white tip, yeah. Exactly. That one hit it pretty good. Beckman's ready. Nice fish. Oh, nice. Look nice. At that one. <laughs> That's nice. All right. There we go. The barge pattern. <laughs> That's pretty good walleye. Yeah, it is. Pretty good walleye in the Beckman. And as tight to the barge as I could be. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by beautiful Cabotogamo Lake. Gateway to Voyagers National Park. Ray Marine, simply superior. Northland Fishing Tackle, made by fishermen for fishermen. Peline, because we fish. Vexilar, own the ice. 
Hannay's Marine is the largest Larson boat dealer in the world and has a huge selection of boats and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced experts will help you select from top fishing boat manufacturers, including Larson, G3, Bass Cat, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Suncatcher. Now's the time to take advantage of manufacturer rebates of over $1,000 on select models and great financing rates. Your boat, your treasure, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Ice expands your seasons by building houses using their revolutionary lightweight IntelliCore panels. These true structural composite panels are lightweight yet durable, extremely well insulated and waterproof too. Core Ice also offers models using their patented hybrid wheel skid system for the ultimate in portability. With models and configurations to fit the needs of all winter anglers, consider Core Ice and expand your seasons. Visit our website to find a dealer near you. Every angler has his favorite tools. A particular bait, the right rod, a net that never lets one get away. But all of these mean nothing if you don't have the ultimate tool as your foundation. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-tool platform with tiller and dual console models ranging from 17 to 20 feet. Everything you need for catching any fish you want. Larson FX, are you ready? Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Lake Cabotogoma in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogoma Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. So we did something today that I've never done, and I don't, I've never seen it on TV. We were on a barge pattern. What happened is some barges moved into the productive area that Josh had caught fish on yesterday, and so we had to kind of fish around those barges, but they created current seams, and that's where these walleyes were. Oh, that's a nice one, Jeff. Let's get that one in here. Oh, come on, girl. Nice. And that was just one of them that I was able to grab onto and hold on, and, and we got it hooked in, and, and, it, and it definitely, you knew it was a big fish, just the way it was pulling. Nice. Okay, good job, Jeff. Woo. There you go, buddy. There. There you go. There you go. Look at that. That. That's the best fish of the day. Nice job, buddy. Thank you. Nice work, Jeff. That's a beauty. That is a good one. You don't really know what you got until you actually get to see it. And that was a good one, that one was. And wow, that's a good one. Look at right where you're supposed to have them. And one of the things we're doing today is we're using that new UV color pattern fireball. That is a pretty little bait, and the walleyes like it. But what I really like is it gives good visibility in this off-colored water and it catches them. Today, we, once we found those seams and different brake lines to use or to fish, we used a, a vertical jigging technique and the best jig I've found in the market for that right now is the fireball jig. So the fireball jig is what I've been using since I was a kid fishing down here. I've guided down here a lot of years and countless walleyes and countless big walleyes I've, I've, I've caught on the fireball jig. Not big fish. Sauger. Nice fish. Yeah, he'll work. Look at the markings right. on that one. The Sauger like that little UV too. Nice Sauger. That fish just reeled it. Whap. And he's stuck good. That's a good hook there. Makes it easy then, doesn't it? I like it. I like easy. <laughs> and you know, that's one of the things too about that vertical. You stay right on top of those fish, you feel them at that rod tip, maybe just load a hair. 
Smack them good. Rivers have some similarities when it comes to walleyes. One being, you gotta try to find those current breaks, those seams, and you gotta match the speed of your jig so that you can fish it fairly vertical. You don't want it to get blown away in the current. River rats like Josh know how to control the boat so that you can fish it vertical and keep that bait at a speed that those walleyes will hit. There was actually another boat here, but this is a spot where you got some fish yesterday. And those folks looked like they were pitching and we're fishing vertical. We're using the new UV fireball tipped with minnows. And it seems like that pattern is a little bit more productive today than the pitching pattern from what we've observed, doesn't it? Yeah, I didn't see those guys catch anything, but I mean, a lot of people are accustomed to anchoring or hitting spot lock and just casting, where um, often river guides like myself get used to the fact that you should use the current to your advantage and roll with it. And keep it vertical, you can, you can stay right on top of the fish regardless of how fast you're drifting. Yeah, look at here. Big fish the way it looks, Jeff. Nice. Dogger? Yep. Might be. What a good thing. Good one, Jeff. That's a sauger. That's a roll. No, that's a sauger. It's a good sauger, too. Good job, Jeff. All right. Just fishing stuff figured out. Look at It's a unique fish, isn't it? To see all things Fishing the Midwest, please follow Fishing the Midwest on Facebook. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Big Stone Lake Tourism, the Midwest's newest winter hotspot. Beckman Nets, uncompromising quality. Strike King, tie one on. Distinctive cabinet design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. We rise at 4 a.m., driven by an overwhelming passion. We're driven by the beasts that roam the waters of this great country. We don't think about stress, or bills, or Monday. We're fishermen, always ready. And as for the gear we hold, trust is everything. Never again should you sacrifice strength for style. The Team Lose Pro TI Speed Spool. Built for anything you set the hook on. The fishing line has been cast, now let's get hooked on Garrison. Spend the day on beautiful Lake Sakakawea fishing and enjoying the water. If you don't catch the big one, our bustling business district, scenic nine-hole golf course, and abundant recreation activities await you. It's worth the short drive to Garrison this summer. Check out all this and more at GarrisonND.com. P-Line, premium fishing lines for all fish species during all seasons. High performance copolymers built to handle a wide range of fishing situations. Fluorocarbon coated lines that are sensitive and invisible like a fluorocarbon yet with the manageability of mono. Super strong Teflon coated braids for ultra long casts and extreme sensitivity and premium fluorocarbons including the all new award winning Tactical. P-Line, a line for all fish species during all seasons. Closed captioning on Fishing the Midwest is provided by Offshore Tackle the leader in trolling technology. Big fish. Maybe that big girl we've been That's looking for. One. Oh yeah. I'll bet you that's a big walleye. Right under the barge. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. <laughs> hey, nice job, Josh. Oh, oh, that's a fatty there. There you go. There Sweet. you go. Ooh. And I got one. Jeff's got oh, one. We got a double going. Yeah. Jeff's got one. Oh, his kid off. I got it. He smack it? Oh, look at the, the jig. Oh, is, man, that fireball yeah. is gone. <laughs> Think they like the fireball? Well, again, it's really neat knowing that we're out enjoying the great outdoors 
and a million and a half people are in offices working. So that, that, that's kind of different for me. I'm used to being in the North Country away from people. I love Minnesota walleyes. Having all this in our backyard, right in the Twin Cities. This, this whole day is a testament of how fish can adjust so quickly to their environment. None of these structures were here yesterday, yet in 24 hours, all the fish have gathered around them. And Josh, isn't that just a testament to how we as anglers, we have to adjust with the fish. I think sometimes we get caught up in thinking fish do the same thing day in, day out. And especially on a river where these conditions really change, the fish change as well. Couldn't agree more, and that's why river fishing is not for everybody. A lot of people don't want to have the deck of cards changing on almost on a daily basis. So it's people get intimidated by the river a lot, and that's part of the reason why. Like a spot can be good for a few days, the next day that spot's no good and you gotta move along. Oh. Oh. when they make that run, Mr. Hanna. Yeah, Jeff Hanna from Hanna's Marine. I've known him a while. Um, he really had the touch today. He was in the back of the boat, and whatever he was doing, we were all kind of looking and sneaking and sneaking peeks on why he was catching the majority of the fish. Thank you, Jeff. Nice Nice walleye. Wall. Nice. nice. Good job, buddy. Uh, Man, these river fish fight. And do you think he wanted a fireball for lunch? That thing is gone. Look at that. Look where he's got that. That's a nice walleye. Not only is Jeff Haney pretty good with a rod and reel catching these Mississippi River walleyes, but he's also one of the owners of Haney's Marine, one of the leading marine dealerships in all of the Midwest. At Haney's, we're looking for lifelong boat owners. Um, everybody is a different boater, and that those needs change as they get older, whether they're young and they just want to have a small boat for uh, a couple, to the point where they might have kids, they may want to fish, but then maybe get out of fishing and just want to cruise. And they've got grandkids and seniors. Everybody needs different kinds of boats and we cater to all of them. When someone comes into Hanny's, they can expect to find a smiling face. Our parts department is nothing short of legendary. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've had customers come in and say, uh, such and such dealer told me to come and see you guys because you'd have it. This man is on fire today. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you go, Jeff. Nice. Good job. Another chunk. We have had us a day. So the neat thing about this day is I've been fishing for 50 years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've been fishing for 50 years and every day on the water it seems like something a little different or something that you haven't experienced happens. And sometimes you think it's going to be the same old. Today I'm fishing around barges and Jeff has put it on them with that new UV color pattern. And in this dirty water, off colored water, Look at that UV. Yeah, that new UV color arrangement with the fireball jigs is really all producing all the traditional colors. It's really neat. Yep, that UV has been the hit. There you go, Jeff. Good work, my friend. Thank you. There it is. One more. So we're using a rod and reel today that's brand new on the market. They're by Lou's and they're really sensitive, good product. This is the TP1 Black Speed Stick. It's a 6.9 medium light, and it's proven to be a really sensitive, lightweight jigging stick. We've been using it to catch smallmouth bass as well, but for you walleye guys, this TP1 black speed stick and that medium light is just a heck of a jigging. It'll be a good live bait rigging rod too. I need the back then, please. There we go. Good one. There you go. All right. Yeah, another fireball fish in the river. Fun stuff. Northland classic jig that's worked for years, probably arguably the best jig to use in the, any, either the St. Croix or the Mississippi River in Minneapolis and St. Paul. You know, we've been running Suzuki outboards this year and I kind of had to chuckle today because they're such a quiet, smooth running motor and when I first started to run it at the beginning of the year, I did this a bunch of times and that's this. Josh got to the bow of the boat a couple different times a day and said, is the motor running? That's how quiet that outboard is. Jeff, 
is the magic man today. Nice fish. Nice. Good job, Jeff. A winning combination. Jeff Hanny and a fireball jig. Good job. Wow. Nice fish. Lift her out a little bit, Jeff. There you go. No, that's a walleye. Ah. Saga. No, it is a saga. That's a good saga. Saga. Saga, yep. So tell us what the difference is. It's a hybrid between a walleye and a sauger. Oh. Is there any white on its tail? A little bit of white on its tail? A little bit. Yep, yep. yep. sauger. Good job, Jeff. It's a nice fish. Yeah, that is a good fish for that species especially. Good job, Jeff. I love getting bit. I love when a fish pulls back, and walleyes are one of my favorite species. And this river, hey, if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. It's a unique fishery, it's loaded with fish, and if you're intimidated by it, give a guy like Josh a call, I guarantee you, he knows what he's doing and he can put you on some fish. To see all things Fishing the Midwest, please follow Fishing the Midwest on Facebook. Fishing the Midwest team uses and recommends the services and products from these folks. K-Drill Ice Augers, drilling ice will never be the same. Hanes Marine, there are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hanes Marine. Lose, feel the difference. Clear Lake. Drop your anchor in Clear Lake, Iowa. Every angler has his favorite tools. A particular bait, the right rod, a net that never lets one get away. But all of these mean nothing if you don't have the ultimate tool as your foundation. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-tool platform with tiller and dual console models ranging from 17 to 20 feet. Everything you need for catching any fish you want. Larson FX. Are you ready? Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Distinctive Cabinet Design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there's no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. ride on the water, a concert in the shadow of legends, a day of fishing in one of the premier fisheries in the Midwest. These are just a few of the wonderful attractions Clear Lake has to offer. Nestled in northern Iowa, Clear Lake is known for its beautiful scenic landscapes, top-rated beaches, and yearly events. From the annual winter dance party to the blockbuster 4th of July celebration, Clear Lake has something for everyone. Stay at the shore and explore. Forget everything you know about sonar. Now there's an easier way to find fish. Real Vision 3D Sonar from Ray Marine eliminates the guesswork. And it's only available on Axiom, our new blazing fast navigation display. Explore the underwater world from every angle. Spend less time fishing and more time catching. Real Vision 3D from Ray Marine, simply superior. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Bass Pro and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garrison. Get hooked on Garrison on the north shore of beautiful Lake Sakakawea. Moor Lock. Get locked down. Clear water in a lot of lakes in the Midwest, and one of the big reasons is the influx of the invasive species like zebra mussels. They're not good, but as anglers, we still have to figure out how to catch fish. And the first thing that I do is I found that fishing deeper 
works or is actually necessary in a lot of lakes. When I'm chasing walleyes in deep water, I like to use a bottom bouncer. I use a heavy bottom bouncer because I need to get that bait down quickly and fish it vertically. And for walleyes, a bottom bouncer and a spinner. But a new spinner that's called the butterfly rig, it's maybe something the fish haven't seen. It's maybe a little more of a finesse style approach. And it's a good way in deeper water to catch walleyes. What do we got, Jason? A little better fish. I got together with Jason Foss a few summers ago in Sakakawea, and we had some really good catches size. during the middle of the day on butterfly Ooh, rigs for walleyes in clear water. Nice, Jason. Remember I was telling you I haven't had a throwback in a few weeks? Yeah, you just told me this morning I haven't had a throwback in several weeks. Look at the shoulders on that. Yep. As you can see, deep water, the butterfly rig, and clear water, well, that was a good combination that day on Sakakawea. However, another thing we can do to up our walleye fishing success when the water's clear is we can consider fishing the peak times. And peak times, especially on bright, sunny, hot days, can be early morning and late in the evening. A couple falls ago, I got together with Jeff and A. Super clear water. We caught a few fish during the day, but the bite really peaked right before dark. Check out this walleye action. He does not want to come into this boat, does he? Oh, there you go. Nice. Good job, Jeff. There we go. All right. Nice one. When it comes to bait selection, anytime we fish really clear water, we need to consider what bait colors to use. When the water's a little off colored, well, our brighter colors, our chartreuses, our fire tigers, those are great patterns. But Strike King has really dialed in, in their Walleye Elite series and in their Pro Model series, some of these bait fish patterns. These bluegills, these perch colored patterns that they have, they do a great job when the water's really clear. So using a natural colored bait is important, but another thing that really will increase your odds for success in clear water is getting the bait out away from the boat. If you're trolling a crankbait or a spinner, a planer board is a tremendous tool to get the bait out away from the boat. You don't spook the fish. If you do spook the fish, lots of times they spook to the bait. So planer boards are a great way. When we're using a cast and retrieve approach, long, long casts. Cast that bait, get it as far away as you can. And one of the baits that I've caught a bunch of different species Walleye. of fish on using a cast and retrieve approach is a swim bait. The Rage Swimmer from Strike oh, King, they've got a new that three and a quarter a inch set. model. That bait catches walleyes, it catches Nothing bass, better. it flat out catches them. Well, there you have it, our School of Fish segment. Hey, go to Fishing the Midwest on Facebook. Tell us what you liked or what you didn't care for about today's segment. And if you got some ideas for future School of Fish segments, we'd like to hear from you. It's been a great day. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time. And as always, remember to include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure. See more Fishing the Midwest TV episodes by subscribing to the Fishing the Midwest TV YouTube channel.